My name's Buck Johnson. I'm Lane Johnson. I'm Layton Johnson. Hi, I'm Addie Rose Johnson. My name's Janet Johnson. We own a ranch here at Alder Creek Ranch in Denial, Nevada. My family and I own and operate Johnson Livestock here. We've had this ranch for 17 years, but I'm a fifth generation rancher. My husband started out in California before I met him. I bought my first bunch of cows in 1977. I borrowed 25,000 from the bank and went and bought 50 cows, and that's where I started at. I used to be a saddle maker before I got into, you know, the ranching business. I just tried to build saddles and trade for cattle feed. I did that for quite a few years and tried to build my numbers up to where financially kind of make it on the cows. And I bought this ranch and Janet never even knew that I bought it or anything. It took all the money I had to make a down payment on it. As far as raising a family on, on, on this place here, it was the best thing I ever did. Leighton, he was the first one to spend his money and buy one. And I said, what are you doing that for? What good is that thing? One day, Leighton was going to go down to the decomposed granite pit, which is about eight miles from here. And he took off on his board. I went down there after a little while to see what he's doing. He was tearing up ground. He had a tractor sitting down there. He said, how'd you get down here? And I didn't see no pickup or anything. He said, oh, I rode my one wheel down here. And I said, all the way down here? And he I said, yeah. I thought that was a pretty good deal. It'd save us a little gas money around here, you know. If you got different tractors in different places and stuff, and you got to get to them, you can take your one wheel. I have to have help to move equipment around sometimes. I can just throw my one wheel in it, and then I can bring my one wheel back, and then I don't have to ask for help and take time out of another person's day. I do a little bit of everything on the ranch. I uh, mostly take care of a lot of animals and do a lot of farming. I would use the one wheel the most around the household area, like going, running down to the barns where the sheep are or the steers, um, walking my steer every day. And my primary responsibility is making sure that we have enough feed for our cattle and that our cattle are gaining weight. It's an occupation that you learn a lot about life from. You're raising multiple cattle. You're feeding everybody across the country, making sure that you have a healthy herd so that your family's healthy and other families are healthy. We know all the neighbors because we don't have very many. Basically, we say any neighbor within a 100 mile radius is a neighbor. We're a pretty small community. Uh, we all work together out here. When somebody needs some help, we jump over and help them. We all kind of get together to brand calves and we try to make it fun. It's sort of like Christmas for cowboys, but we're doing a job, a job that's super important. It's just a time to, you know, do the job that has to be done, but really share in each other's company. Family is very important. I'm so thankful that my kids, all three, want to grow up in this industry. That doesn't always happen. And I have a lot of people ask me, where is she going to college? I tell them, well, she's going to go to Johnson Tech, right out here. <laughs> My plans after high school are to come back to the family ranch and continue growing it. I just want to expand a lot. And I want to be able to keep the family in the whole operation and all grow together and bigger. We all kind of learn that we just work together and we each have our roles. 
and that's what we have to do. I'd say my parents are really cool people. Um, my dad started from nothing and accomplished his dream. My mom, she always is helping others accomplish their dreams and what she can do for people to help them with anything. This is the only place I'd ever want to be forever. And I think a new perspective of going and traveling places is good, but this is always home.